I've officially started my buddy read. I've made it to page 45. And I don't know if it's just me yet, but the way that this book is written and the way that information is given to us, it's like hard for my brain to process. I don't know what it is. The magic system is very different from anything that I've read before, so I'm enjoying that. But I just got back from the doctor's office for Enzo, and I am drinking my $1.50 McDonald's coffee because why not? I actually made it pretty good. So I'm excited because I'm getting a new bookshelf. So I've got this one and I've got that one over there. Um, but I'm going to get some short built bookshelves that are going to go in between. And so I'm ordering one for right here. Because I'm already out of space for all my books that I've been buying. <laughs> I have a problem. It's okay though. That's going to be coming in and I'll probably build that with you. Yeah. It feels, the writing is very staccato, if that makes any sort of sense at all. I'm only at page 55, and I'm having to like really push myself through it, which it sucks because I really, I think the story is going to be really good, but I just have to get past the slow start of it. I'm on chapter 12 now, and I'll be honest, the style of writing is a bit smoother now. Um, there's a lot less unnecessary descriptive words whenever Elspeth is thinking, and it's getting a lot better. I'm annotating to kind of just keep up with the magic system a little bit because it is, it's not complicated, but there's just a lot of stuff to remember like what each card does. Uh, so right here, you can see I've got all these different things highlighted uh, because each card has its own color that it is coordinated with. So like the prophets is gray, maidens is pink, um, chalices is a turquoise, the scythes are red, mirrors are purple, and nightmares are uh, burgundy. So I'm highlighting that to kind of keep track of that, just to make it a little bit more fun, I think. So that's where I'm at. And there are people that are in the buddy group that are have already finished, um, but then there are also some people that are behind me. So like I'm right in the sweet spot, which I'm okay with. I also switched the shelf over here from over there because my new shelf should be coming today. It was supposed to come yesterday, but it didn't. The, they delivered the other package that was supposed to be with it, but not the shelf. It's a sad day. That's okay. Before, then I do the actual relationship becoming the relationship, or being the relationship, I guess. Yay! I'm also watching Daisy Joan and the Six. I love Camilla. That's all I gotta say. Enzo doesn't want to go to sleep. I've tried everything in my arsenal. So we are resorting to Hay Bear. The little dancing fruit and veggies. And I'm going to read some of my book. We'll see if he'll fall asleep. Don't fall. But we're just chilling. <laughs> sitting here reading waiting for the bookshelf because it says it will be here today and the tracking was updated so I have faith that it will be here today so I'm just reading by my window and every single time like a car drives by I'm like <gasps> it's sad I'm this excited about a little short bookshelf no it's actually it's getting so good and 
we're at this part now where they've come up to a castle and um, the nightmare in her head tells her to go in and she's like, where? He goes, there. She goes, why? I want to see it. And she said, there's no door. There's only a window. One dark window. <laughs> he said it. it. It's getting good. I like it. There's been a few scenes where um, Raven, you just steals my heart. It's and there's nothing spicy in it. I don't I don't know if this book has spice in it at all, but there is like some angst and some I don't want to it's not pining. It's just angsty. And I like the angst. I love a slow burn. I'm a slow burn girly. It's here, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here. It's here. I'll give you a little peek. Give you a little peek. Where is he? Where you at? Where you at? FedEx man! It was literally like five minutes later from the last video I just made. We're in a really good part of the book, but um, bookshelf comes first, y'all. I've been waiting. It's two days late. <laughs> I'm trying real hard not to be creepy. How great. Let me go get it. I'm gonna go put a bra on so I can put this together. The color is perfect. It's perfect. I was a little unsure because, you know, buying them online from s sketchy companies. so afraid with the board being so thin that it's gonna break or like go through the wrong hole you know what I mean who is texting me so much right now politicians of course I'm gonna have to paint the bottoms of these because the starkness dark card and Darling. Ba -da -da -ba -ba -ba. Ja! I was hoping for it to be a little bit more deep because there is some space here. I can just move it forward if need be. What I was afraid of happening happened on one, two, three places all on the bottom. Because this particle board is so thin, there is not enough space for the nail to go through. Like, if you do not put it on exactly perfect, then it splits the wood. Like so. But it'll be covered by books, so. Trying to figure out what to put on the shelf. Um, so I've got my manga here. That's about all the manga that I've got. I thought I had a little bit more, but I guess not. And I've also got these spiritual books down here, which... I'll be honest, I don't really touch all that much anymore. I struggle trying to figure out how to place all of my books. Because I don't know, do I... Whenever I'm filming videos, do I want to sit here on the floor in front of my bookshelves with cool stuff? Because if so, then I want to showcase some of my more favorite books here. Um, but whenever I film TikToks, I sit on the edge of this table and I film them that way. Tough decision. Nostalgics can go down on the bottom. Okay guys, what do we think? This is what it looks like right now. I've got, those are more of like nostalgic books on the bottom. Spirituals with some notebooks. And then we have the manga, um, tarot cards. Behind this tarot card box is all my tarot cards. And as well as my witchy books. And then over here, some poetry, um, some classics, got Frankenstein, <laughs> Pride and Prejudice Zombie, <laughs> graphic novel, <laughs> some more fantasy, got Princess Bride, which honestly should probably go down with the classics. Um, and then up here we've got, these are like my book talk books. So we've got the um, Throne of Glass series, box set, Air of Fire is out because it is a bitch to try and get this out more book talk books and my Akatar series 
Oh, and there's a classic <laughs> right there. I don't know. I've got my classics all strewn around. I can probably put this one down here. So that's good for now. I just placed an order for the hardback of To Light a Candle so that I can have the in matching trilogy. And that's what I've got going on. I probably will place like a plant or something to fill the space for now. But that's, that's what we've got going on. An end table next to my reading chair and all of my library books that I have. You know what, that's not bad. That's not bad is like a little sit on the floor, chill kind of background. Halfway through and this vlog is already so long. Um, I'll check in whenever I am three fourths of the way through. But overall, I'm just really loving this book. It's, it was very slow to start because of just the writing style. I was having a little bit of trouble with it. Uh, like the staccato-ness. It, it felt like I was dragging through sludge. It was so slow. It was a real rough time. But once we hit the equinox, it's just picked up so quick. And I'm enjoying it so much more. And the writing style is a lot more smooth. So I don't know. But it's just a lot easier to digest for my brain. And I'm having so much more fun with it. There's been multiple points where I've, like, <laughs> my little giggles. And there's been a few points where I've gotten a little bit of butterflies. And like I said, there's not even spice. So, having a good time with it now. And I see why people enjoy it so much. So, I'm gonna continue. <laughs> I am 30 pages away from being finished with this book. So much has happened. Just, I, I need to film my reaction to the last 30 pages because I've heard that there is a cliffhanger and that I'm gonna be mad because the second book isn't out yet. So I need to film my reaction to the last bit. I just have to. So we're gonna go ahead and finish that. And where I knew that I needed to film this last part because the last thing that she says in this chapter is, had I known they'd be the last words I'd say to him aloud, I might have chose them differently. <laughs> Not Raven, don't kill Raven. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> oh shit. No. <laughs> Oh, the nightmare is so sweet, Elspeth. Like, he's been protecting her this whole time. And he said, do you trust me, Elspeth? Do I have a choice? And he says, my darling, you always have had a choice. He, like, even though he's to be seen as a monster and a nightmare, he's always just been so sweet. So sweet. The way that, like, instead of now saying that I looked up at Orinth, it says we looked up at Orinth. <gasps> oh, fuck. <laughs> My god. I've got chills. Look. I don't know if you can see it, I've got goosebumps. Oh. oh my god! Okay, I mean I've got an extra chapter, but I'm gonna leave off right here because that is, I think, for the second book. The 
this was so good. I know that I gave it a little bit of a hard time for the first 12 chapters, but my god, that was good. Even though it was so rough at the beginning, the ending truly made up for it. I'm five star. Five star. I was gonna, whenever I was in like the middle of reading, I was like, mm, I'll give it like a four star just because of the beginning, like I had a hard time. But I don't care about the hard time that I had in the beginning now. This book was so freaking good. The ending just, I'm like, I have tears in my eyes. Incredible and oh my God. I have to wait till when? October for the second book? Are you kidding me? <laughs> so good, I highly recommend this. Go and pick it up. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, I would absolutely do reread. That's where I'm going to leave off with this vlog. I, I don't know how I can top that. I can't. I can't. I'll start another vlog today for like a different book or something, but that's where I'm leaving this one off. Wow. Wow, Rachel Gillig. You really did something there. I doubted you for a second, but you really did something there. Oh, so good. Uh, yeah. Okay, well... Hope you have a beautiful day. If you liked this, please don't forget to subscribe, like the video, um, and you can catch me over on my bookstagram or TikTok. That's where I like to hang out whenever I'm not here. And yeah, I hope that you have a beautiful day. And of course, stay excellent. Bye.